Brakta Yahaw, Brakta Yahaw Shai, Brakta Yahaw, Brakta Yahaw Shai, Brakta Yahaw, Brakta Yahaw Shai. This is your brother Malcolm coming back with another uh, E Epistle of Truth. All right. Glorifying the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Giving double honors unto the, the apostle elders of GMS. All right. The true elders of the nation of Israel on earth today, whether you receive that or not. Okay, and salutations to the Akim who go out in the four corners of the earth and risk their lives and their freedoms to bring out this truth, the same as the apostles and the disciples did in the, in the ancient days. Okay, and uh, that's what men of the true men of the Lord are going to do. I think I'm going to name this video as uh, God Loves All? Question mark. That's a false doctrine. Okay, um, some of these clowns, these pathetic, sorry. Uh, Clowns that be on the comment board, these keyboard warriors who have no knowledge and whom the truth offends because the truth doesn't benefit all. That's what this is all about. Truth doesn't, uh, doesn't benefit everyone, all right, especially the base of men, which is the Edomite, which is the so called white man. They are the biblical Edomites, the relics, which are the eyewitness, and the history proves it. No matter how much you complain and cry about it all right and put on your dumb comments it's not going to change the fact that you are the Edomites and that your time is up okay um they're always attempting to to diverge away from the truth all right uh criticizing uh, um or trying to discredit the, the uh Deuteronomy 28th chapter as if that's all that we base <laughs> Uh, our doctrine off the but the, do, the whole Bible is the doctrine of, of GMS. GMS doctrine is the Bible in its entirety, apocrypha included. Okay, because the absolute truth and the only truth is found in the Bible. We may use other books just to prove points, you know, to get definitions to show because Esau and other people have documented history and kept relics and things of that nature, which have proved the Bible. The Bible has been proven thoroughly over and over again by archaeologists and scientists. All right. So first of all, if you don't believe in the Bible, change the channel. You shouldn't be on here. And then if you do believe in the Bible and you've been brainwashed with that slave doctrine, God loves everybody. All right. What well, you know, which was pushed while 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 the Israelites were basically in, in, a, in a low state and in captivity. OK. Same as the Star Spangled Banner was pushed when the Israelites were in captivity. But yet you want us to honor your lies and your bullshit. OK. But, you know. It's just like, for example, give you another one, quick one. We're going to get right into these scriptures. Uh, there was an airstrike that the Pentagon is admitting that they made a mistake on 62 uh, Syrian soldiers that were fighting the so-called terrorists. OK, and they're saying it's an accident. All right. The Russian prime minister is asking for answers as to why and what happened. OK, then something else happens in Afghanistan. All right. So instead of. That being the headlines in the media, the United States has to distract the people. And all of a sudden, you got three uh, very theatrical, uh, look like movie plot plans. All right? Because how easy would it be to take a, 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 a you know, a, a slight scene from a movie and then air it on the news and say that it's real? You know? So very, another very theatrical uh, uh, scenery of, of, of bombs going off. All right. And of people in chaos. All right. And I bet you if you go look, there's going to be a need and want for crisis actors in those areas if you do enough research. You know, it's not that important to me at this point. But that but the point being made. Oh, and there was also a choreographed uh, stabbing that happened right around the same time. So in three different places, you had two bombings and a and a stabbing. Perfect extraction from the fact that that the America Russia is questioning America is why they're helping ISIS at the same time America's saying that ISIS committed these uh, these acts that they're owning up to it. So that's just showing you that, that the so-called white man is divided against himself, man. Okay, so uh, now that we got all that out the way, because that much needed to be said, let's get right into the scriptures, man. This is Jeremiah uh, forty-six and ten. All right, and this the, the and in my Bible, it, the headline of that says the Lord's day of vengeance. So this is Yahweh's day of vengeance. But so, but he loves everybody. It says, for this is the day of Yahweh powers of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge uh, him of his adversaries. 
the sword shall devour him and it shall shall uh, satiate and, and made drunk with their blood. For Yahweh, power of hosts have sacrificed in the north country by the river of Euphrates. He has a sacrifice there. Okay. Now, biblical scholars will often tell you that Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel are all future prophecies. Okay. Who's the Lord adversary? Let you know. Let me go. This wasn't planned. So that this is the one I didn't really. But it said upon his adversaries. All right, because I asked some clown on the comment board a question who was who was scoffing. And of course he couldn't answer it because he didn't know. So I know you're gonna watch this. So whoever you are, ignorant scoffer, I'm gonna help you out. I asked you who is who is Satan's um on earth? And give me the scripture to 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 back it up to prove it. Where in the Bible? And then of course he came with some nonsense, some old personal, you know, bullshit, but no answer. Alright? So this is uh Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and I'm going to start at verse 12, and I'm going to read down to 16. Here's your answer. All right. How have thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? All right. How have thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? All right. And then they'll teach you in the church that, that was, those were fallen angels. Okay. The angels work, the, the, there's right-hand side angels and left-hand side angels. All right. And, Lucifer, and, and, and Satan himself in heaven works for the most high he works for God who you ignorantly call God you can get the book of Job to prove that the first and second chapter because when he calls the sons of God before him Satan comes also all right and then in uh and in the I believe it's second first Kings the second chapter either second Kings the second chapter around the 19th verse you know uh it 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 tells you that the angels sit on the right and the left hand side and one went forth to be a lion spirit all right. So that so and, and plan the death. So the Lord planned the death of a king. All right. Of an Israelite king. So you people don't know the scriptures, man. All right. It's uh, verse 13. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven and would exalt my throne above the stars of, of Yahweh. Right. Which and you and you have attempted to do that. All right. And I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. All right. That's here in America because the world is ruled from North America. All right. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like unto the most high. You've traveled in the space and you've and you've created images of of the most high to and say that you're him and that he looks like you. And you're trying to push your 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 technology so that you can be know all and be all so you can be all and know all and be like him. All right. But then it's funny in my Bible it says Babylon cut off. See? Babylon uh cut off right there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me put my thumb there. Right there. Babylon had cut off. So you know that this is talking about here in America, that Amer North America is referring to Babylon. It says, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Okay, and they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake kingdoms? All right, because that's how you weaken the nation. So the subject matter was Satan's, you know, or Lucifer, son of the morning. That's you so called illuminated ones. You, you, uh, you families of so called black nobility, man. The so called white man. That's who Satan is on the earth. Okay, according to the Holy Scriptures. All right. Now, uh, the truth and artifacts in the Scriptures, you know, uh, prove who the people of the Lord is. All right. But Esau tries to he, he you know, he 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 has this 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 make believe Im imagination and try to imagine and put himself into the, those positions, and you're not, man. You're not. So you can make all the movies and you can make all your, 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 your pale face Israelites and your pale face uh, Philistines. You can make all the dark nations and the sons of Ham, who, the, who you refer to as black or, or niggers in them within themselves. You, can, you make them all white and then you turn around. You, you make everybody white, man. And, and that's just a bold faced lie. Okay. Um, 
let me see. I wrote something down here. It says, uh, oh, yeah, he tried to include himself in the blessings. And your blessings, uh, and you know what your blessing is going to be? Your blessing is going to be when that great roundup happens in Obadiah, man. So let me get Obadiah, okay? That's when your blessing is going to come. When you get when you get relief from that thousand year period of slavery, that's when when Esau is going to have his blessing. This is Obadiah, the eighteenth chapter, man, and it says, "And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble." Okay, so the house of Jacob is is the southern kingdom, so called Negroes, all right, uh, West Indians, okay, that's who that is, the Jamaicans. The, the, the Levites, the uh, Oven Haiti, okay? And then the house of Joseph uh, is the so-called Native Americans, Hispanics, in North, South, Central America of Negro descent, all right? And it says, and, and the house of Esau for stubble. Stubble is what's in a fire, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remainder of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken. And that's a future prophecy, man. That's a future prophecy. And if you go to the Zondervan's Dictionary, it pretty much tells you the same thing. It tells you that Esau is the only neighbor to the Israelites that, that was promised no, no, no mercy, man, from the Most High. You're the only nation that's going to that's gonna get completely annihilated and wiped away. And go to Isaiah 47 and 14. This is Isaiah 47 and 14. Behold, they shall be stubble, and, and fire shall burn them, and they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There should not be any cold, warm, nor fire to sit before it. So basically, when that day comes, when you're going to get rounded up after your thousand years of miserable, uh, uh, the most miserable, horrible uh, uh, bondage known in the history of man, you're going to welcome, you're going to be glad that that fire is coming, man. You're going you're gonna to go to that fire gladly as portrayed in that movie, uh, uh, Toy Story 3, when the toys were on their way to the fire. Because that had a double meaning in that ending, all right. Because that was that was the toys going to the fire, and and then how they held hands and just accepted that this was it. That's going to be you Edomites, man. All right. But then after that, they flip the script, and aliens come, ships come, and beam them up. But the only people getting beamed up out of that fire are going to be the Israelites, not you heathen, man. Okay. Now let me get a uh 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 well since I'm here, Jeremiah forty eight and ten. All right. No, I'm going to read Ezekiel first. Let's read Ezekiel verse Ezekiel 9 and 4, man. Because you people are with this God loves every. That's a false doctrine, man. And everybody can't make it. All right. Because he's even going to kill two thirds of the nation of Israel. How much more you Edomites and you heathen. But um, in my Bible, the title of it says the mark of righteousness. And Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. LBT, you know, this LBGT mess, the lesbianism, Bruce gender, you know, all these, this homosexual nonsense, man, and then forcing it down the people's throat. Women ruling over men, women looking like sluts. Watch the video where a woman, very curvaceous, a, a very good looking woman, wearing tight jeans, uh, a, a very tight t-shirt showing off a very large, very attractive breast, and a cardigan. Walked around for five hours through Manhattan, and she was getting hit on in every block she came came down. Now, granted, some of these dudes are just like you know ignorant and out of order, because you know you, you don't have to say the dumb shit that some people say. But nevertheless, the first, the second, the second part of the ten hours, she so she did five when she walked around like that, and another five when she walked around in the uh, in a kibbutz, which is a which is a Hebrew custom. Why? Because the, uh, Ishmael is is also Hebrew. So she walked around, covered up, modestly dressed with her hair covered, and she almost got ignored the whole time. All right, but when she was walking around with all her goodies out, you know, that's what men see, and that's what real men see, and that's what they want. So it sends a message when all you see is breast and cleavage. But then, but see, um, Babylon is so twisted and upside down because of these damn Edomites, man, that, you know, now I'm not saying you should go out and put your hands on a woman just because she. Walking around that way, but you could also see why it could cause such problems, man. And that's just, that's going against the Bible, man. And what does America pushes and pumps at? 
They make, you know, Kim Kardashian, uh, Amber Rose, women like that who both claim their fame of being sluts to Kanye. Kanye is famous for making sluts, you know, famous, man. All right? And that's what it is. The slut is glorified in America. She's looked up to. That's what, you know, and I'm, well, what can I say? This is a great whore to set upon all many waters. All right? Um, but it says, I'm going to start it again. And the Lord said, go into through the midst of, Jer of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done thereof. And, and the others, he said, of my hearing, go after them and smite. Let not thine eyes spare, have, neither have ye pity. So there's going to be no pity given unto these Israelites, man. All right? Slay utterly young, slay utterly old and young, both maid and little children and women, but come not any, near any man, any man upon whom is the mark. What? That mark of righteousness. That mark there, I forget the word, but it means exempt from judgment, man. And those are the people who know the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh not Jesus Christ. All right? Like Apostle Tahar said, I almost hate saying that word, man. All right? I was listening to the radio, and the man referred to uh, Bill Clinton as Mr. President. And he's not even a president anymore. That is a title. Jesus Christ is a title. Look up the meaning of words, you dumbasses. Okay? That's a title describing what who he was, not his name. Okay, and it says, and began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So you got he's going to begin at his sanctuary. Matter of fact, let's get one more scripture to back it up. Peter, who is uh, in Peter, Second Peter, the uh, fourth chapter, the seventeenth verse. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it begin first, if it and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them who obey not the gospel of, of Yahweh? So if men who are trying to do the work are going to get judged, how much more to you people, you, you Israelites, and especially to you heathens, you Edomites, who do not the work, all right? Who get on the comment boards and scoff at the truth. Because and the only reason, you know, you Edomites, are the, are, you're the real rapists, you're the murderers, you're the thieves, you're the pedophiles, you're all that. That's what you are. And you get so angry when it's pointed out and proved, man. But see, now all your all your dirt, your closet is being opened up. And you don't like it. Because you have no hope, and this is up if for you and God doesn't love anybody. One more scripture, man. Actually, two. Um, is that Hebrews? My whole Hebrews. And then I'm going to read the scripture in Jeremiah. And close this thing out. Alright, want to make this quick. Alright, because the spirit was on me heavy to do this, man. So I, I stopped right in my tracks to do this. Alright, so now let's go to Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 48 and 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. Alright, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. So, this some idiot um, named Rich Richardson or something. So you mix hate with the Bible. What the hell was this? It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. So a sword being with blood, that's you know, this might be a little anger of hate, man. Did not King David say, I hate them that hate thee? Was not King David responsible for more blood than any single man in the history of mankind as an individual? But yet, he is a man after the Lord's own heart. You people don't know the Bible, man. You don't know the Lord. And that's why you're going to die. Rich Richardson, you're going into slavery, man. This is Hebrews 13 and 8. And it says, Jesus Christ, which is not the name, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the same yesterday, today, and forever. You have no hope. All right? And God's love, everybody, is a false doctrine. Shalom.